I'm going to be using a product here to write my code called WebStorm, which is developed by a company called JetBrains. This tool is not required by any means to follow along with the demos, so if you don't have it, please don't fret. All you need is a simple text editor to write the code, like Notepad, Notepad++, or TextEdit if you're on a Mac. Basically, any text editor will do. Alright, so my first task is going to be to open the demo directory where I installed Johnny5, so I will navigate to D Demos, and then hit OK. Now I'm just going to right click on the root directory here and say New JavaScript File, and then I'll give it a name of Arduino LED since I'll be adding a Raspberry Pi version to the same directory in the next section of the course. The first step is to pull in the Johnny5 framework, which can be done by calling the require function and passing it the name of the node module we want to load in. I'll assign this module to a variable for reuse, so I'll add var5 equals require, and then give it a string corresponding to the name of the Johnny5 module, which is Johnny-5. Johnny5 uses an abstract concept or class called board, which corresponds to the platform with which you are working, such as an Arduino, BeagleBone, Raspberry Pi, etc. The board object is configured to work with the Arduino platform by default, typically without any additional configuration needed. Non-Arduino platforms, such as the Raspberry Pi on the other hand, will require the use of an I.O. plugin in order for the board object to work properly, but I'll dig into that a bit more in the next section. All that to say, I need to spin up a new board object, which is accessible through the Johnny5 module I just loaded in. I will assign this to a new variable as well, which I'll just call board. So I'll say var board equals new 5 dot board. The board constructor does accept an object with different properties for configuring the board, such as the port over which to communicate. However, since I am using an Arduino for this demo, and since it's attached to a USB serial cable, Johnny5 will actually determine on which COM port the Arduino resides and connect to it automatically, so I don't have to supply the information to the board's constructor. Currently, the board class contains seven different events that it can emit to notify you of when the connection to the actual device is set up, if something failed, any warnings you might need to be aware of, etc. In this particular case, however, I'm confident I won't have any failures, so I'm going to handle just the ready event, which indicates that Johnny5 has successfully connected to the device and is ready to process commands. In order to handle this, I will use the on function on the board object, which takes a string argument corresponding to the name of the event I want to handle, as well as a callback function that is executed whenever the event is fired. So I will add board.on, give it the event name of ready, and then I will supply a callback function that will contain the commands to operate the LED here momentarily. Awesome. Alright, well that's all of the initialization code we need, so let's see how to actually control the LED.